Hi, this is Eugene with Darkroom Software. In this video, I want to show you how you can use eventgallery.com with Darkroom Booth for iPad. First thing we're going to do is we are going to double click out of here and go to eventgallery.com and click, we're going to log into our account. If you don't have an account, you can sign up for a, a free one for 30 days. I'm going to go to settings and then API. I'm going to copy the API key. Now I'm going to double click on the home button again. It's take me back to darkroom booth or iPad. And we're going to click on this rocket in the top right corner and then go to microsites, right or click and hold to paste. And then click send and it will test it, make sure everything's connecting properly, and we'll save changes. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is go back to our events, create a new event, and we're gonna give it a name. Click next. It's gonna be a still image. Next, next. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that event gallery um, enable event gallery microsite is enabled. Uh, it's showing toggled on and click next and create. So now when we start this event, we take a picture. I'm gonna go ahead and, and take a second one just so we can see what what it looks like okay I'm gonna exit the session there we go double click the home button to get back to our browser click on event galleries and it is that fast those images have already uploaded. We'll click on it and we can see the two images. From here, we have, I'm logged in as an admin, so I have the ability to go through and delete images. You can open it as uh, the client side, and this is what your customers would see. You can take this URL and copy and add it as a link on your website so people go to your website to get access to their images. Or you can turn it into a QR code and somebody can use their phone to scan. Uh, well, typically you would want to take this URL and then turn that into a QR code. So when they scan it, they go directly into their gallery. But at that point, they can download and save the image to their phone, share it on social media, whatever they want to do. I hope this has been helpful. And thank you so much for watching.